Cafe Cuties is a brand new skin line in League of Legends, and what's it about? It's ex-champion, but in a maid dress. That's kind of where the concept ends. Yeah, I'm gonna level with you guys right off the bat. I'm not exactly overjoyed about these skins. Number one, because I'm obviously not the target demographic for this skin line. And two, because Ruin King game just shadow dropped out of nowhere. I gotta play it. Let's get this shit done quick. I gotta be honest, I thought Cafe Cutie Siver was nidally. I'm sorry. Aside from that, the skin line is just fine. It's a nice color tone. Particle effects are decent, but I really don't feel anything either way for this skin. Emerald is the best chroma, 5 out of 10. Honestly, right off the bat, I would put Cafe Cutie Soraka at a 4 out of 10. Maybe it's just me, but Soraka's always radiated mom energy to me. She's a protector, a safeguard, so seeing her as a much younger person is just kind of unsettling. Tanzanite is the best chroma. Croissant. Brings it up one whole point, 5 out of 10. With Cafe Cutie Annie, now we're getting to some of the good stuff. Am I biased because Tibbers is a gummy bear? Yes. Am I biased because Tibbers has a mustache and a tuxedo? Also yes. Have I completely removed Annie from the equation in ranking this skin because Tibbers is that fucking good? Yep. Water. Blood. Grape juice. Tea. Only the Vladimir, master of all four elements, could make a skin this mediocre. Overall, I feel completely indifferent. Obsidian is the best chroma, 5 out of 10. Have you guys ever heard of the phrase, diamond in the rough? The teapot hat, the W animation, everything about this skin is just absolutely amazing. Which is customary for bard skins, but I don't know, this one just seems incredibly exceptional. Obsidian is the best chroma, with rapid fire skin reviews first ever ranking, 10 out of 10. Yes, it's that good. Okay, listen, Siver has her food tray. That's something. Vlad has his little teacup instead of blood. That's something. Soraka has a croissant on a staff. That's something. But Cafe Cutie Gwen, just like her default design, it boils down to put generic anime character in generic anime outfit and call it a day. That's where the idea ends. I'm not just indifferent to this skin, I'm actively bored by how uninteresting it is. Pearl is the best chroma, 3 out of 10. Overall, Cafe Cuties gets a 5.5 out of 10 for me. It's got a couple of really great ones in there, but who boy is the rest of it ever so boring in my opinion. One could say they aren't really my cup of... Tea. But what do you guys think about Cafe Cuties? Do you like them? Do you not? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you on stream. We're playing Rune King right now when this video goes live. Fucking let's go, baby. Woo!